Hello, fair citizens. We're back from Japan and uh, time for another box opening video. I have shipped everything that I've ordered since uh, even before the before I left for Japan. I had some stuff ordered that hadn't shipped yet, but everything there. Plus, we've got our other Dekafumo from Amiyami here, um, and one more box here with some more Fumo. So we're going to start with these, and, uh, and then we'll get into the rather small amount of stuff that I ordered out of Japan uh, from Yahoo in the last month. So this one I think maybe won't be so long, but we'll get right into it and try and be quick and maybe we can man out of this video in no time. So I'm gonna get this open. I'm just sure this is triple boxed like the other one. Get her open. So there on top we have the same two flyers we had on the last one. At least, at least I think it's the same ones. Here we go. And inside we already have a second box as expected. Some of these are actually, even as of this recording at the beginning of December, still available for order on the Amiyami site. So it's like I think a lot of people have been saying, it's, it's a real nice breath of fresh air, a nice change that we're able to actually order these at all. And that it's not, you know, it's, it's kind of drifting away from that whole eBay, Yahoo Japan scalping model that we've been in for for like a decade you know so anyway here we got her all the way opened up let's pull out our other deck of plumo from this order this one is ready to chow down eat everything in sight we have yuyuko there's nothing I think crazy special about this one that we had, like the like the sword that Yomu had. I'm gonna get her opened up. Uh, the hat's staying on surprisingly well. That's one problem I have with the original um, Yuyuko one is like the hat just does not stay on. But uh, you know, with these being a bigger size, I think they they're able to make that a little bit easier to, to work with. So there we go, we got her open. Get her big butt out. Come out, we have steak. Yeah, steak, it's your favorite. I don't know what her favorite is. But I bet we would get along very well because we both absolutely adore steakums. There she is. She's a big girl. Very adorable. Very nice, soft, squishy hat. And yeah, definitely that stays on pretty good. Like it comes right off, but that's a that's a pretty nicely made hat there. I bet you it would fit pretty nicely. Well, it might be a little bit too big for a Kirumi, but yeah. Anyway, there's her. Put this box away real quick, and then we'll get into the Ami Ami, the other Ami Ami box. And I'm sure probably a number of you watching this have already bought what's in this set, because it's, uh, I think when they, when they release stuff, it's like they're usually a certain set of them are available for a while, and this one, uh, these, this set of three here were... Definitely, like, I think a lot of people were aware of it and, and got them. So anyway, put you aside over here, and we'll dig into the second one here. Okay. So yeah, again, like, for those of you, anyone who's interested in Fumos, has seen Fumos for a long time, you adore Fumos, 
and you just don't don't find them and they're super expensive or anything like that you know maybe you can't get the old ones anymore but go on ami ami they even take paypal and everything they'll ship straight to your door no need to go through a depot service or any of that stuff and you can you can order fumos from them directly so keep that in mind it's a it's good. Looks like we have a different flyer for this one. Here we go. It's even in in English there on the back. Actually, let me pull this up here so we can take a look. Yeah. So like they've, you know, they they know. They know we're interested and they're doing and making an effort to to help us out. That's great. I I think it's it's good news. So let's open these up. We got a big bunch of paper here pad them in because this box is too big for the three that we have. If I remember right, EMS is based on weight. As long as it's under a certain, you know, a certain size, um, it's actually based on weight. So it doesn't really matter that it's, you know, it's bigger, like a lot, a lot of empty space or whatever. So anyway, we've got here, I believe this is Fumo 2 version 1.5 Marisa and um, Reimu there. And the third one is Lost World. Lost World. I'll remember. It's the it's the multiverse version of uh, Yomu Kompaku, all in black there. But uh, yeah, so there's those. I have more on order. Um, I doubt they're gonna come for this video. Maybe one of the next ones. I'll I'll add that in. But uh, they have like the mid size Fumos now as well. So I, I'll be getting some of the mid sizes, and I think there's a few others that I have on order. And then there's the the pins, Fumo 2, 1.5, Reimu, and Marisa, like I like I mentioned, and Lost Word, Yomu, pin. So yeah, that's it for those. Uh, when we get back, I'll have a couple more things from my regular box openings to look at. Uh, so we'll see you then. All right, we're back. Gonna open up the rest of our stuff and call it for this video. Open my knife and we'll get right into it. So I'm gonna push this up now and uh, let's start with the big box. I think this is like a standing. I don't remember. I never remember. I think I literally looked at the list this morning and to refresh my memory and I yeah and I always just forget. So. Sandy, I don't remember what I got. Oh. oh yes, no, these aren't standees. This is this is actually quite important and goes along with some caps that just came in. This is two Rainbow Bomber Girl art sets. Looks like one of them is still in the original box. One of them is not, so I can show it. There we go. So I have a, um, I have two Bomber Girls in the warehouse right now. These are the art sets for the upgrade. There's been quite a few of these hitting the market for some reason, uh, which is interesting considering how few cabs are going on the market. Like, well, to the point, there's no caps going on the market. But anyway, there's the art set. Um, I won't open it. I'm pretty sure at some point in the future we may look at these in a video. Uh, you know, no, 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 no. Keep talking about this is going to be a short video. Let's make it a little longer. Let's open it up. Uh, what's the easiest way to get this open? Where I close it back up again. We don't know what we're going to be running in terms of this game yet, so, you know, it's still going to be a while until we get it working. And uh, once we get to the Bomber Girl video in my queue, we'll probably see what I mean. But, here we go. 
grab this first acrylic part here. Um, this is brand new, by the way. These were, these just, this version just released, I think, as of this recording, a couple months, a month, a month or two ago or something like that. So, just shortly after I had bought them. And, uh, oh, this doesn't seem to be wanting to, oh, just some tape there or something? Tape along the bottom, but, yeah, there's the, the header art for it. Not too big a deal to open up. I'm going to check and see if there's anything else in this box, but I think it's just this other sealed one. Um, and if that's it, then I'll just close this back up because this is all going to go back in there. Yeah, there's nothing else. There's just a sealed box that has, or not sealed, I guess it's been open probably for the, for picture's sake, but... Okay, so yeah, nothing else special there. Let's tuck this back in. Close the box back up. And it is going to go to the warehouse. I'll label it. And uh, someday, whenever we upgrade, I've got it for our two cabs. Okay. And the last of it, again, I mentioned not, lo not a lot this time. Not that I went out of my way for it to be that way, but... Um, Just didn't happen to pick up a lot this time around. So I think this is just a bunch of small items. I think maybe a couple plush figures and maybe some parts IO boards. Probably I think some IO boards. Okay. Oh, and a banner. There's a banner here. So, plush. I just bought a Pepper Coon, which is the robot that is in these two plush here. It's a service robot that came out in, I think, 2016, 2018, somewhere around there. Um, kind of in process holding it from shipping over because we want to make sure we, we, you know, do the customs right and whatnot. Um, anytime you import anything new on a container, it's really good to look into and make sure you don't break any regulations or make sure you do everything properly. Anyway, I got the, uh, the plush for it because it's just cool. It's a bit cheap. Um, some more plush. Let's do those first. We've got this Cherno I've never seen. It's a Tarurini. It says on the tag on the back. I'm not sure... Um, I've never seen this series before, but that's a new Cherno plush, so, uh, since I didn't have it, and this one was, I don't remember how much it was, but the exchange, you know, the exchange rate being so good, I'm going to pick up everything while I can. The other was this, the, uh, I think this is one of the only, uh, Pugyoto plush that I don't have. I don't remember. He's, no, I think normally he's, like, one of the higher demand, higher price, you know, a lot of girls like him and stuff. Like, whatever. I picked that up just in case. I'll check at some point. This, I you probably I think you've seen these before. I've bought them before. Anytime I happen to notice them come up, like, affordably, I buy them because they're stupid and great. These make great gag gifts. I'll open that later. But I like those. Let's see here. We've got a bundle of crap. I think this is... 2DX cameras or no sound voltex camera. This is a sound voltex camera unit. Uh, I just picked this up because I have a couple headers that um, are missing the camera unit. And I, even though the game doesn't use it, that way I just have more complete headers for anyone that still has a sound voltex for it upgraded. You've seen these before. I'm not going to open it, or you haven't. I'm not going to open it. Too bad. I picked up this production cell. Um, it just happened to be part of, you know, I was buying something else from the seller and it's like, I haven't looked at it. It's just, I don't know. It was kind of cute, whatever, but, uh, something. okay, let's do some, 
parts. I don't have currently any border break IC cards. These are unique to border break. A lot of a lot of games in this era had um, had unique cards that could store data among other things, or you know, or a format that aren't really a standard. So until someone and we don't know if we can like figures out what standard it is, we can't really get repros of these. So if we want to further support for border break, got to have some cards on hand. So I bought a set. Um, you know, no, no, no. Let's. Let's actually open them and, and look over all the different cards. We might as well. So these are kind of a these are a gloss finish as well, not like matte. I thought these would be, end up being matte based on others, but here's the different arts for them. And this should be a full set or something, I guess, I think, from from what it looked like, of at least these. But yeah, they are not a normal standard that you'll, you'll see today. So it's value in having that, especially if you're going to do support. This other one that I opened, I'm not going to open and look further. It's just more bulk um, Sword Art Online stuff. And I've been getting a lot of that. Um, because uh, at, well, because when I was in Japan, actually the terminals don't even work anymore. I tried. I recorded a video on on Sword Art Online of like deeper gameplay and whatnot, um, and I wasn't even able to play the the satellite version or, or the, the what's it called the, the terminal or print cards or anything like that. Um, this I've opened one of these before, but I had mentioned you know normally they they list for really expensive and don't sell. And I just really like this line of plush. I don't know why I bought a second, really, but you know, it's something someday. You know, I'll probably gift it to someone as something real nice that you know, normally you can't get easily, or you know, is normally a lot more expensive. And you know, I can afford to right now. It's nice to I'm just stockpiling while the yen is high. It's like a lot of the things I'm buying now are, are like that. And probably a lot of the things that I end up buying on the next box opening, which I'll do in January probably, um, are going to be me trying to liquidate company funds before the end of the year um, for tax purposes. So we'll see. But anyway, I just picked up another one of those. I don't remember what previous video that I was in, but... Um... We have some Visual Emotions DVDs here. I think this was just a listing that was super cheap, which I don't remember at this point, but it was super cheap enough that I was like, hey, whatever, fuck it, I'll buy it. And I think, I, again, I was also buying a lot of things that I pick up usually when um, I'm buying something else from the same seller anyway. So nothing like crazy special or anything, but... That's cool. Uh, something to throw into the stockpile, basically. Okay, banner. And I'm not going to open this in this video because it's just too big. This is the EX versus 2 X Boost banner, which I do not have yet. I have EX versus. I don't know if there's a separate one for Maxi Boost. I think I have one of those, and I have the EX versus 2 one, so I do not have this one. This will go up in a new a new line in the game center. Um, I've already got quite a few of them up there, and this will just be the, the next one that we put up. Those, these are those like really long, like ten foot banners or whatever. Um, so eventually, at some point in one of the in like a future video or something, you'll probably see it hanging up there. Um, I figured it might be time to put these on my TDX because I'm decking it out. So I just got some uh, lightning model turntable covers. I can buy those directly from Konami as well. But it's convenient, so I just picked it up. Um, next two, these are figures that I saw in Japan. I was like, oh, those are nice. I'd like those. Um, and specifically, the the core full, the core full um, Nanachi looks pretty good for for a Sega for like a prize item. Um, you know, because they have an example one in the crane. I was like, you oh, know, that actually looks pretty good for what it is. And I mean, these things cost like ten bucks. 
if you buy them like you're you're if you can't win them in in like five plays on a on a crane you're losing money um so i was like okay you know part of part of my crane <laughs> experience in japan is finding things that i want and then just buy them you know i and i didn't buy a lot on the trip in japan when you get to the actually i think that video is probably going to come up first but like i mentioned in it a lot that I don't know, I just didn't really feel like buying a lot when I was there. Either, you know, I got that out of my system last time, or I've already bought everything I want. I buy a lot on Yahoo Japan, so it's, you know, because, like, you can't really, you can't really get good deals in stores in Japan unless you really start going to the places that aren't tourist traps, um, or you get them on sales, like my some of the figures and stuff that I bought in Japan was uh, on Black Friday sales. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so here we've got two MMS figures. Um, I've been getting, I got a couple more of like this kind of stuff as well recently. And like all of you, like these are probably gonna go on the 2DX cab. You know, the, like a lot of places like to put them in there in the speaker space. So I'll probably do the same with these. I don't have these yet. I don't remember. I, th I think this was also another thing that was like actually kind of surprisingly cheap for what it was. So we've got here Celica and Iroha. MMSs. So that'll actually be kind of nice. You know, I might put them up against one of the... Uh, one of these the, like the DAC so I think that's mainly kind of you know, the sizing it's designed for but yeah just put up a neat display in the arcade along with those cabs all right and we're down to the last thing which I don't remember right now what it is let's see in a sec here and I'll, I actually I think this might be IOs I keep buying IOs to stockpile that I know eventually will be of use and be of convenience to people that are looking for them. Yep, it's IOs. Two, three, four, five IOs. If you've, if you've watched any videos, if you ever intend to go back and watch any of my videos, these are in basically everything, so ain't gonna go so hard on that. And... I think that's it. Well, there's uh, nothing else for this video. So I'm just going to cut it at that. Hopefully this one actually ends up being one of the smaller openings and get out of here real quick. Thanks for watching. Mm, by the time we do another, it'll be next year. So I look forward to it. See you next year. Actually, real quick, I kind of just... Uh, did, didn't actually, I forgot to, to mess, mention this, but uh, this was another thing I saw in one of the cranes. I was like, oh god, I gotta have it. So this is just a King Metal Slime, uh, one of those like bells, those service bells. Uh, I'm gonna open this later when we get the game center up and I do another video on that or something a long time from now. But anyway, I just saw this. It was a super cool thing. So of course I bought it off Yash. Anyway, yeah, that's it. So that's it for the video. We'll see you next time.